Okay, so we're going to do the energy and food lab. And you get all your supplies out of the basket onto your table. Um, turn on your lab quest first. That way, you know it's on and plug it in and charge it. So the first thing you need to do, get your goggles. Those need to be on all times. There, you don't need gloves because there's no acid or bases, but your hair has to be back. If it's not back, we're going to make you go out into the hallway for that time. So you have two cans in your basket. You only need one for the first part because you'll receive two foods. What you need to do for the first can, you need to turn on your scale, make sure it's in grams. And once you see the scale is at zero, then you can put your can on and weigh it. Once you get the weight, record it in grams. Okay, so now you're going to put your food holder together after you recorded your weight of your can. You're going to take your cork and foil and paper clip. What you need to do, you need to put the cork down on the table, then push the foil around it. This is making a food holder for it, so that way if your food drops onto it, it can catch it. Then what you're going to do, take your paper clip, then stick it in the top, and then take this to the electronic scale and weigh it. Once you get that weight, record that, take it off, and then you're going to take your food. Take out your paper clip because it's easier to mold around the food. You know, get it tight around it so that way it doesn't fall off. And then you're going to put it back in and then weigh this. What you're going to do now, once you get the weight, you're going to take the weight that you just recorded with the food and subtract that from the weight of just the holder with no food. Then your next step, once you have this ready, you're going to set up the apparatus that you're going to use to burn the food. First thing you take, the ring. You're going to face it away from the stand on the bottom. And then it doesn't matter the height to begin with, just because you're going to measure out the distance from the food to the can. Once this is on, then you're going to take your electro support and then tighten that to the stand. And then you're going to use a graduated cylinder, get 50 milliliters of tap water. Once you're done, you're going to pour that into your first can that you would weigh. Then with the water in it, you're going to weigh this again. Record that weight. Then you're going to take the stirring rod and then insert it into the holes of the can. So that way it looks like this. Okay, you're gonna set this onto the ring. And then with the rubber stopper on the outside part. Then you're gonna take your tray, you're gonna put this underneath like this. And then finally you're gonna take your food attached to the food holder. And then you're gonna need two people for this next part because it's kind of difficult to do. You're gonna need to take the ruler to record to look and see how close it is. And you need it one inch from the top of the food to the bottom of the can, which it is right now. Okay, now your lab quest, you're gonna plug in your probe to it, and then you're gonna wrap the back of it around the stand, so that way it doesn't get in the way. And then two people might need to do this. You need to adjust the probe to be in the middle of the can and about the middle of the water too. And just get as close as you can, it's kind of difficult to do. And then once you're done with getting it set up, take the initial temperature, record that in Celsius. Now you will need, this is a three person job, definitely. You need one person to be in charge of lighting the food. And this person, make sure you light it underneath the whole time. The second person needs to be in charge of moving the tray. So once there's no more burning, smoke, or fire, you need to move it out. And the person lighting needs to light the food again. And then the third person needs to watch the temperature on the probe. You need to watch once it gets up to 60 degrees Celsius, or the temperature continually drops every time, or the food is black from lighting. And then once you get to the final one, once it either hits one of those three, you need to record the final max, max temperature and the mass of the food with the holder. Record that and then clean up for the second test. So you need to make a whole new holder, holder. so new paper clip, new food, 
and new foil. That can all be thrown away and then repeat it. And then the last step you need to do is undo the probe, take off the can, be careful it might be warm, and then do not use this can again. That's why we have a second can, and then you just need to repeat the steps for this.